Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do a video on um, a recent yeah, invention, as you may call it, on CS, which is um, the new type of OLED, an 8K OLED. Um, and in this video I'll be explaining whether or not you should actually consider this as an improvement, which you can notice, or just as yeah, a gimmick, uh, like a curved screen. <laughs> I've had this curved screen, by the way, in the past, and um, yeah, they had absolutely zero effect on viewing experience. You just, you just stopped actually uh, having this idea that there's even a curve at all. Um, in front of me, we have a 4K C7 uh, OLED TV, and uh, as you may see, even up close, uh, you can probably not tell out pixels maybe if i get even a little bit close you start seeing a sub pixel structure but the thing is um whether 8k is beneficial or not really comes down to uh, a couple of things uh, first of all your viewing distance is very important um and second of all is the overall screen size um with current phones like my note 8 having a 4k display it's really it's really unnecessary to have so many pixels in such a small display. Um, whether this applies to a 65 inch screen is a different matter, but that comes down to the viewing distance. Uh, for me, I have a viewing distance of about two meters from my eyes to the TV. And for me, 4K is actually beneficial. Uh, when watching Blue, when, when I still had the Blu-ray player, when watching Blu-rays versus 4K Blu-rays, I could actually see a difference in sharpness despite both sources being uncompressed. So the 4K was actually beneficial for me uh, when viewing content on such a large screen with such a small viewing distance. Um, whether 8K is worth it is uh, dependent of two things. Uh, yeah, actually three things, obviously. The first being the size of your television. Um, with the 65 inch screen it's it's a kind of hard sell to actually have 8k resolution and smaller doesn't make no sense it just doesn't make any sense at all um with the 55 inch i could sometimes make out 4k it was slightly noticeable but with um any smaller screens like 40 inch 49 inch and even smaller even 4k almost doesn't matter let alone 8k um 8k starts mattering when you're having a screen size of at least 65 inches when sitting incredibly close or 77 inches and higher like the 88 inch uh, 8k display uh seen on ces um, below those sizes, it it almost doesn't really matter. Uh, when having a 65 inch screen in front of in front of you at the two meter seating distance, um, I cannot really see uh, even the individual pixel structure. So 4K at this distance is it's pretty much okay. Um, 8K might add a tad little more sharp sharpness but it shouldn't be uh too much uh, it shouldn't be very noticeable um at 77 inches at this distance yeah i could maybe make argument for 4k to be honest uh, for 8k to be honest um it might actually imp make the image slightly slightly more sharper um compared to 4k but uh, we will already know that if I would have a 77 inch display. Uh, one thing to know before you start um, saying that you cannot see the pixels even at a meter distance. Uh, there's a difference between actually seeing the pixels like when I closed up to the TV and actually seeing less sharpness. And the thing is, you already start showing, seeing less sharpness long before you start seeing the individual pixels. Um, and this is the reason why it's important to have a little bit of legroom between actually seeing the pixels and uh, not seeing them. Because between this distance, there's already this amount of sharpness which you're losing uh, before you're actually seeing the sub-pixels. 
So, um, in my opinion, it's important to have, if you could have 8K uh, resolution for 65-inch screen and the 4K resolution and the content was available, yeah, why not? Why not buy the 8K display? But um, when buying smaller screen sizes you don't, and you don't see the difference between uh, HD and 4K, then, it's, then 8K makes no sense at all. Um, I could make argument for um, 88 inches. Obviously, at this viewing distance, you would probably <laughs> you could probably tell the difference in sharpness between 4K and 8K with 88 inches of screen diagonal. But um, with 65 inches, the difference would probably be rather minimal. I could see a little bit more sharpness in images, but I don't reckon it would be uh, a lot. Um, with the 77, so with larger displays, 8K might make a little bit of sense. Um, but then again, how many people have a 77 inch or bigger display in their house? Uh, I don't know many people with the 88 inch display, even uh, with the LCD panel in their house. So uh, the thing with 8K is, is it even... Um, is it even prof profitable to um, manufacture for so many people because there's not a lot of people who have gigantic televisions even a 65 inch screen is considered a rarity in uh, for the average consumer so all in all um, i do wonder whether 8k will even be commercially viable in the near future uh, it might not be uh, for a lot of reasons and next to that is whether uh, movie producers and other TV makers are even interested in making uh, content in 8K as 4K still isn't this widely adopted standard like HD is. Um, as far as I know, most content is still in HD. So even looking at 8K at this moment is, yeah, it's kind of far-fetched when 4K isn't even the standard for everything right now. The only content in 4K right now is either 4K movies uh, on the Apple 4K TV or uh, 4K YouTube videos, which I do enjoy watching, but it's it's not widespread like all TV content and all sports content uh, and every show in 4K. So, um, in my opinion, 8K is probably at least... 8 to 10 years away for, from becoming a standard, if it even does, um, which should probably require everyone to get gigantic televisions, which could be obviously an option with this new rollable OLED, but as of now, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So that's my opinion on 8K and whether it's worth it. Um, right now, I would not buy an 8K display, to be honest. Um, if I would get a 77 or larger OLED, it still probably wouldn't make much sense as um, you probably wouldn't have the right connections to even hook up any external equipment um, worth of actually displaying 8K because as of now there isn't any television or yeah thing that has HDMI 2.1. Um, but what you've seen with the force, first 4K displays is that they cannot even display true 4K content because they didn't have the right connections for it. So um, being an early adapter of, 8K, of an 8K display probably wouldn't be a wise decision as well. So yeah, that's my thoughts on 8K. Not worth it right now. Uh, maybe in the future if you have a gigantic screen. So that's up to you. Uh, thanks for watching. and. Stay tuned for next videos. Have a good day and goodbye.